Yeah. No better way to enjoy this game than getting stab hits. What's up with this? Am I gonna get attacked? Yep, I got attacked. Two five five's all right. Yeah, not bad. I don't hate it. Looking at hundreds, if not thousands, of hours of gameplay. You curse the devs because they make you pay for a game that you can get literally thousands and thousands and hours, thousands of hours. God forbid. So greedy, aren't they? Glad I don't hate you. Why would I hate you, man? Can you imagine? Listen, I want you guys to consider for a second that these devs charge for content that is literally always on sale. And there are always people who are going to bitch about it constantly. Like people literally exist for the sole purpose to bitch about DLC policy. Yeah, we don't talk about that here. We don't talk about pri pirating games that I support. I support the devs. You should too. The nerve of those devs to charge prices that are literally always lowered by sale. Want to be paid for their work? Very expensive, a standard? Well, yeah, it's standard rate, but nope. Who, who here, raise your hand if you've ever paid full price for the whole thing, all DLCs in the game. Just don't like the DLC policy? I don't care what you like. <laughs> people who say I don't like their DLC policy are people who are teenagers or just like to complain. Yeah. If you're a teenager and you don't have a job, you are not allowed to talk about the DLC policy because it's really not that broken or bogus. Waited a Christmas sale a few years ago and got everything half off. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's so affordable. Got all the CK2 DLC for like 70 pounds. Yeah, that's great, man. DLCs are too expensive. Oh, yeah. Sure, man. Too expensive for what? A teenager with no job? Because that's what I'm assuming you are. All right. Salavada. Where's this at? Sorry, you guys are pissing me off. Kote, barracks, I can do that, eventually. Less than 20 bucks in the Humble Bundle. Yep, I got, I have two full copies of the entire game on the Humble Bundle for 50 bucks. Read manga or watch anime? Nah. Price felt a bit high at the time, but honestly, yeah, dude, I've literally got over 3,000 hours in the game and I've paid for every single DLC except for Emperor. And I have, I'm fine with it. <laughs> nah, my recommendation would just be to shut the hell up if you want to complain about the DLC policy. Because it's honestly just such a tired argument at this point. Paid for Emperor for full price? Yeah, if you buy it on release, yeah. Which is also fine, you know? 715 day sip. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's standard for a heavy. It's basically twice, you know? Buy them one by one and get used to the mechanics. Yeah, that's fine as well. Emperor is a good DLC, I agree. I thought it was I thought it was a well-made DLC. Yeah, I buy every every one as well up until, you know, now I don't have to because you know, the Paradox Gods have favored me, but $14.44. Premium pre-order. Zero of the Humble Bundle sale went to Paradox. It donated everything to cancer research. Yeah, that's fine too. I mean, that's what the Humble Bundle is about. I will very vocally always support the devs of CK2, EU4, CK3, all of them. Because they're great people and they work hard to give you guys content that you can enjoy at a fair price. And whether you think it's a fair price or not is totally up to you, you know? Just debase currency. I'd rather take a loan out than... Once we get the two heavies, we'll be good. Let's take a look at... Um, uh, navies. Yo, Shadow Ninja. Thank you so much for the tier one, dude. I appreciate you a lot. Welcome. I don't recognize the name. You got you a new boy to chat? Let's... Uh, 
But Monus has four heavies? Are you kidding me? How do you compete with this? Stretch. I think they hurt themselves when they release bare bones games like Imperator, cost them long-term customers. Well, most people won't argue that Imperator was not a great game at launch, but I've heard it's good now, but I, I think the fact that they kind of like have bad blood with everybody from it, you know? Awesome content. Well, cheers, man. I appreciate that a lot. Imperator better now? That's what I've heard. That is what I've heard. I um, admittedly haven't given it a chance. I have it. I paid it. Paid full price for it on release. Let's go with... You guys know me too well. <laughs> um, I'm going to wait and take Miltech before we do that. The only streamer I watch. Well, cheers, man. I appreciate that. Naval. Prestige. VJ is my rival. Bamanis, man. Okay. Yes. Okay. We're going to totally be able to do this, I think. If we switch over to a Diplo rep guy, we might be able to make it happen. Also, we have positive prestige, so we can totally send a scornful insult to VJ. Wait for 2.0. I heard 2.0 is going to be crazy. Okay, we need 25, and then I will ally Bamanis if I can. One more month. Get a claim there. Send a scornful insult to him. The v the Vigianuri, Vigianuri are know nothing about running a state. Then I royal marry you. Yes, let's go. I've been waiting for this. Cool. All right, very good. Are they not rivaled anymore? Yeah, that's what it was. Well, that's wonderful. So let's go for... Uh, I think this one is great because this is jungle and a lot of this over here is jungle. Yeah, over here is all jungle. Try to take the farmland cloths in South India to dev the next institution. Totally will. I totally will. So let's take a look at our tech compared to him. Six, six, mil six. Bamanis would join. They have... What? My head hurts, man. They have 37,000 men. That's nutty. These guys are still allied to Bamanis, sadly. Hmm. Well, I think what we have to do is we have to get big and strong and then attack uh, VJ with all of our allies. So let's take a look here. Those guys are allied, but these guys will join probably if I had the favors. Attitude towards enemies, huh? Classic. Conquer India with Bombonis and then backstab them? Of course. How did Kote keep those Vinad provinces? Yeah, I actually don't know how only one of them went over, but maybe I will eventually. I want to keep the ally. How about destroy the Maldi Maldives? I can't get a claim on them. I'm not going to no CB a six dev island province. Let's get uh, this land maintenance guy here in a couple of months. Attack by minus ally after finishing VJ war, but don't peace out with VJ. Probably will, yeah. But the thing is, is I'm going to have to be good about that because it's going to be a tough one. Okay, let's take you. The land maintenance modifier is going to be good. It'll help, or the land cost. They just have so many allies. Oh my gosh, these hug boxes are cancer. Look at this. Look at him. Look at this hug box. He's got him because. Oh. Maldives. I've heard it pronounced Maldives, Maldives. Who cares? Oh. Yeah. I think you guys know how I feel about proper pronunciations for words that are completely foreign to my tongue. <laughs> hey, Cassick. Thank you, man. Four whole months with your prime? I don't deserve you, my friend. Indian ally chains are quite a fun experience indeed. Yeah. Pissing me off what they're doing. Right, we got our heavy now. So let's, uh... 
It's because I don't care. That's how I feel about you correcting my pronunciation. It's always like the same people do that correct pronunciation. Moldy's nuts. How about that? Yes. How about that, chat? Moldy's nuts. Let's get this other heavy over here blockaded. Or mothballed. He's got a lot of cav. I just don't really know how to do this without VJ like. Uh VJ announced me as his rival. Let's embargo him. Let's see how we can do it. Arabian Peninsula. The next DLC could be about the Arabian Peninsula. I mean, I imagine it's going to be something involving Southeast Asia or the New World, since those are the, what they've been talking about. Actually, I don't think... I don't. I think Plock has the little, like, line through it, right? So it's not the same character. I might be wrong, though. Free professionalism? Sounds good, man. Levy the taxes or just get free karma. Sounds good. We're gonna lose it from take from starting wars, so staying as close to neutral is as good as it gets. Do something about Africa? Who knows? Yeah, I'm I'm not familiar. Man, that is so dumb. Attitude towards enemies is such a corny modifier, man. My half off admin guy's dead. I cry every time. Let's get rid of you and get, um, well, I guess we'll just let our economy tick up a bit. It's fine. Finally fun, not bland. I mean, is it not fun and bland right now? Cause I think it's fine. I think it's cool that they're gonna overhaul it, but I wouldn't say that I think it sucks or anything like that. Surprising inclusion of improved Polynesia in the next patch. That will be a nice addition. Right now, they're just like a couple of islands you have to conquer. What's the region I prefer to play in? Europe, for sure. Southeast Asia games for the next update? Oh, yeah. Me too. It's weird that people are... Oh, hey. This is actually good. Hmm. He has 7,000 manpower for reasons. Is there a reason why he has one-fourth my manpower? Worse than other rehauled parts of the game, so it just feels worse. Most of the countries without mission trees are bland. I guess I guess I would agree with that. Think your custom OPM Berlin run has reached insanity levels of income? Standing army of 400,000 mercs. Nice. Europa? Yeah. Anybody who complains about other parts of the world being bland or just... It's called Europa Universalis. <laughs> Notification for when the estates can be summoned instead of needing to memorize it. I I can agree with that. Barracks and Cote. I got a long time before I need to worry about it. But it actually would be great for us. Take a look at how much manpower we'll get from it if we build it. Uh, right here. Look at that. 1,700 manpower. You ain't crown land? Yeah, sure. Our crown land's actually looking pretty good already. Everywhere is bland. Check out for sales at LZG. There's plenty of sales all the time. Mars Universe House. Nice, a comet. I like comets. See what achievements you've unlocked? Um... I uh, maybe actually if I go to my account here let me see my profile um, I'm not sure actually 
If you can find me on Steam, I think you can find it, but I don't know exactly how, because I don't really want everybody to know my Steam code, because people literally just spam me with friend requests, and it's annoying. Sell Crown Land? Eh. No better way to enjoy this game than getting stab hits. What's up with this? Am I going to get attacked? Yep, I got attacked. Really, man. Well, this run might be over already. Let's go with defensiveness. That was weird. Yeah, probably going to restart. It's all right. These, uh, the classic uh, AI hug boxing bullshit happened anyway, so there's nothing I could do about VJ. I don't know. I mean, it, he really got a wall breach. He's been sieging this for two months, and he got a wall breach. No cannons, nothing. This game's a joke. Call in their allies? Yeah, all of them, actually. Huh, I wonder why. I wonder how that works. You know, if, uh, you know, relative strength of alliances and attitude towards enemies. <laughs> attitude towards enemies, right? Nobody wanted to join. Except it was the AI, and they're like, well, we're attacking a player, so we might as well join in, even though my attitude towards the enemy is not hostile or anything like that. Apparently, he hates me. Oh, because we're at war. Makes sense. It's kind of wild that he's uh, literally doing that well over here. I need these ships to be repaired, so here's what we're going to do. I'll go bankrupt. We might be able to save this. We might. Might be able to save this. We have lots of manpower. Might be able to save this. We'll see. This is jungle, and remember, we have the extra monthly... Okay. No more mercs for me. I'll, I'll gladly go... Oh wait, we do have cannons unlocked. Okay. Disease outbreak on forts, please. A disease outbreak would be nice. Twenty one percent. Hmm. Do we have better miltech than him? He's on six to my seven. Damn it. Yo, Rory! What's up, buddy? I'm gonna risk the 5% or Five the 21%. Months, baby. Five months, baby. Alright, very good. So, get rid of you guys, have them attach. How's our, ad our general? They have a 3 1. So those guys will be there on the 3rd. These guys can be there on the 6th. And the 8th. Cool. Okay. So let's head on over. Blockade them in. Oh, they're already stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck. I thought the AI always wants a 21. How about that, huh? Okay. I mean, I'm... <laughs> I'm, death, I'm death, uh, death spiraling right now, though. So these guys are doing okay over here. Hmm. Each month, I'm taking out another loan. We can afford to be do this for a few years, so let's try it. I'm okay with going bankrupt. What? Oh. I was like, what you mean? Okay. 
Oh, I don't want that. No, thank you. So let's see if we can bait them. Let's do some Scorched Earth here. And we can get rid of one of the Merc stacks. Uh, let's get rid of the Free Company. Sure. My inflation's already high enough as is. But I'm honest, putting in work. DJ will pay off your debts. Basically killed their whole army. I did, yeah. Mercenaries are strong. So this is grassland, sadly. And it's a bummer that they're blockading as well. I'd ri I would prefer it if they didn't blockade. Let's come on over here, see if we can do something interesting. Let's get rid of you. We don't need you. Can't afford you. Would rather not take out more loans. He's on low enthusiasm. <laughs> not bad. This is jungle, so it's a plus one for us. Ooh. Let's get a re repair tick. We have a cannon over here too. I think that's a win for us. Not bad. These guys are on low enthusiasm now. Take his money for now. I'm just gonna embrace the fact that I'm going bankrupt, and uh, we're gonna roll with it. We'll see. We'll see how what we can do with it in the meantime. So I'm definitely gonna be taking a couple of provinces over here. Yeah, like all as much farmlands as we can, and then obviously we need the coast. So something like this would be good. Balmanis is defend. Oh, that's really weird that he expects clay for that. Huh. It's fine. Um. I think we're gonna be okay in this war. See if we can catch this 13 stack. Yes, we can, very good. In the hills, sadly, but uh, they don't have full morale either. So it's actually an easy one for us. Not bad. Let's have these guys detach and do some sieging over here. Nice. Uh, Highlands is not ideal, but um, this is okay. Guess I'll lose some Diplo. This is fine. They can reinforce. I don't think it actually matters. Okay, very good. We have their capital. We just need to piece out his allies and then get him full occupied over here. So let's do something like this. Something like this. And they've got a 10 stack coming at me. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's Highlands, though. Oh, yeah, we're good. Cool. They're actually taking super heavy losses. Look at this, dude. They attacked me and lost 50,000 men. Call an ambulance. But not for me. Sorry, I'm not really watching chat. This is crazy. Kind of nutty, honestly. Buy that down. Let's, uh... I'll pay for that. I, I can't afford to have those rebels right now. That is suicide if that happens. So let's scorch this province. Made the best outcome of a situation. Uno reverse card. Feels good, man. As soon as we win that fort, we'll piece him out. Radapur is like up here. Mm hmm. Balmana is coming in clutch on this. So Orissa, I want you to siege that down after you're done with this. So they're doing good so far. 21 percenter. Let's come on up here. Start sieging down some forts. 21 percent. It's the AI, right? History books will speak for this for centuries to come. Very good. Give me your trade power as well. Cool. <laughs> Separate pieces are overpowered. A stretch from Deviant. These kinds of situations and trying to force a way to win are what make me grow as a player. I, I agree. To be honest with you, when the war got declared, I was like, well, 
that's enough for me. Time to restart. Bernstein with the stretch as well. But uh, we made it happen so far. The great Vegeta guard blunder. I should give him VJ. Give me lots of uh, favors with him. Seven percent. Um, cool. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for all the follows today too. Holy crap! Lots of growth for the Twitch channel today. Glad to have you all here. He's marking up. Twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-nine. Twelve. And I have 12 as well. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we don't go bankrupt. I kind of think we should do a planned bankruptcy, but we'll see how it goes. Mm hmm. You guys better not be doing anything funky. We scorched the province over here, so if they want to run in from Salem, apparently. We need to let our karma go down. It's fine. Get their event rebel spawn? Uh, I'm not sure. Bohemond, thank you for your prime sub, man. I appreciate that a lot. Supporting the channel like a legend. I appreciate you. Okay, let's see here. Truce these, peace these guys out ASAP. Oof. And everybody else, thank you for following. Oh, I don't have spy network. <laughs> hmm. Dumb play on my end. Marissa, please. Just go stand on his capital. We could probably piece him out. Yes, okay. Uh, he's on high enthusiasm because reasons. You know how it is. I'll just buy that down, it's no problem. Possible to go bankrupt during the war and get lots of money during the peace deal? Uh, yeah, you could. I don't think it's a good call, though. Hmm. I'll just take the inflation, I don't care. We'll buy it down eventually. Come on now, 35%? Not quite. So they sunk my whole navy too. That is an absolute tragedy. Let's mothball the army there. We're not or the navy. We don't need them anymore. Yeah, that's bad. Yep, those five stacks going in to kill themselves. It's probably gonna hurt Bomanus's war enthusiasm. We want a siege over here. Let's have those guys detach. Let's do a quick carpet siege. Let's have you guys scorch earth as well, in case they want to go back on that fort. They're going to have to fight us in the hills. Hmm. The fact that these guys won't peace out is hurting us a bit. But we're getting some serious war score here. We cannot let him take back his capital. That would be really bad. He's got high enthusiasm because he's making gains, I bet. Look at this. Look at this retarded thing. Look at this. Oh, it says I'm making gains. Oh, ongoing battles. There's a naval battle. Right, okay, never mind. Who cares? And they got a wall breach. Of course they did. Alright, maybe we have to peace out. Let's take a look here. I want all this. Let's see here. 14%? They took it. They took the 14%. They took a 14%. Nope. Nope. The AI literally always win is, wins these sieges when it's a low percentage, man. Give me a break. I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe that at all. There's no chance that that happens, man. If that is me, I sit on that siege until it's at like 85% and then I get a disease outbreak. <laughs> yeah. We'll run with it. Cat ran across the keyboard. Yeah, my dog sneezed and I uh, twitched and I accidentally hit Alt F4. Too low, Garrison. Uh, nope, that has nothing to do with it. It's it's the AI winning low percentage sieges is all that was. 
How do I finish the claim throne war in Portugal when they have a million colonies? Siege down the colonies, buddy. You gotta do it. You guys don't need to attach to me. Let's uh, keep you there. Let's have you guys split onto here. Let's siege down as much of his clay as possible. Hopefully they don't win that siege. In the meantime. Do something like this. Getting onto his forts is going to lower his enthusiasm quite a bit. And my guy died? Reasons? Okay. Barking glad. You'll be in charge here in about a year and a half, so that's fine. Okay. I'll sit on this fort. Why are you on medium enthusiasm? Ongoing battles. Oh, naval battle over here. There we go. Wrap it up. Wrap up the naval battle, please. Uh, zero percenter. Come on, dude. There we go. 69. Nice. So I want this, this, and then this whole state, because this is all cloth farmlands. And it is going to be so cheap to debit. It's going to be great. Um, and then we'll start working through grabbing as much cotton as we can. Something like this. And then he has a clay province over here. Perfect. Now we'll also take war reps. I'm going to need him to be my ally. Mm. This is very greedy. Let's see if we can make it happen. 21%. 21% chance. You ready, chat? <laughs> I don't believe it for a second, man. I don't believe it for a second. Ooh. Why? How do they do that? <laughs> that is so bogus. Do you guys remember? We literally... So, if you guys weren't around here on Monday, we... We squirreled 16 times before we won a 21% chance. You told me to save it, but you gotta remember there's like a couple second delay on chat, so I didn't see it. Unlucky. That's so whack, man. So whack. Player and the AI cheats. Feels like that, man. Feels like it. All right. Ah, because I want that piece. I want the war reps. The war reps are going to be huge. That way I can actually not go bankrupt. Otherwise, we're going to have to for sure, you know? So... Twenty-one percent. Twenty-one. Actually, do something like that and have you guys come down here. Twenty-one. There you go. They didn't win that one. Those guys are coming for me over here, though. Sadly. That's okay. Save me a little bit of money, yeah. They won. They won that siege, though. Dude, what is this game? I I hate that. I hate that so much. I'm just gonna peace out. I'm gonna peace out for what we can. Because I'm, I'm so over it. The AI has won three sieges below 35% in the last two months. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the last time we're doing it. That's the last time we're doing it. I'm, I'm over it. People say it's confirmation bias, but it's not. No, no, no. The AI cheats. Anybody who says that, that, that it doesn't is lying. But that's okay. How'd you get inspiration for your name? Uh, well, uh, it's kind of... A, like it's, it was more of a joke name when I was younger. I was really young when I hit puberty, so I was like super hairy when I was like a teenager. And my buddy's dad called me Chewbacca. He was a football coach. And then shoot is just like you know, pew pew. Let's do this. You guys there. You guys here. You guys here. You guys there. Easy enough. They, what are you talking about? Was that another 21 percenter? Was that really another 21 percenter? Dude, I'm 
I'm very close to like uninstalling after all this. That is like, let that be, let this be an example of the AI 100% cheating. Who was here for Monday when we were playing our Oirat campaign and we literally lost the 21% siege? Like, I think it was 15 times before we finally won it. 21. Disgusting! No joke, Nick. Disgusting indeed. Filthy creatures. The 20 times siege. Lots of birds. Hey, man, lots of cheating from the AI. I don't care. There are a lot of people that get real salty about saves coming. <laughs> Can you tell it's not me? There we go. 21%. Do not do it. All right. Let's just siege down whatever we can here. Yo, why is his siege tick like? All right, whatever. We're going to peace out. I, I can't be bothered to do this again. Going to give him this. And I can get war reps now. Good. That's it. That's all I wanted. Give some favors. I get war reps, which is huge. And there we go. We're finally across the strait. I have no admin points to core any of that, but that's okay. All right. So let's get rid of you guys. Have the rest of them group up. Jeez, oh, Pete, man. How far over my limit are we? Four. So let's get the cab out of there. And then two more units. And I'll just core it all up as we can. Yeah, I guess we don't have to go bankrupt. Our interest is only three. Okay, we're, we're actually making a lot of money now. Okay, we're cool. I said we were going to go bankrupt. We're not actually going to go bankrupt. Sri Lanka, when? Hey, what's up, real uh, Droker? How are you? Taking candy from a Vijayanagar. VJ isn't eating candy. The candy is eating VJ. They attacked me. I wanted to be known. They attacked me. Sure, man. I'll take some dev in my capital. Let's suppress rebels that are inevitably going to happen. They attacked me. Oh, speaking of. Ugh. Diplo rep. Uh. Oh. Let's see here. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, chat. This is awesome. I can actually take out loans to repay my loans as well. That's awesome, dude. Those are stacks of ducats. <laughs> Holy crap. I was feeling so defeated when they attacked me. Uh, I'm actually paying a bit more for being the war exhaustion, but this is okay. That's wild, man. They attacked me and then got their PP kicked in. Never forget, chat. Never forget. We're on the mainland. Some nice cash for a nation with like 10 provinces. They attacked me. I just wanted to be known. And we got a 255. Not bad. Who's malevolent? Sounds good. So these guys are allied to Bamanis. That's unfortunate. These guys are allied to me. Hmm. Cool, man. All right, let's get that. I don't want corruption. <laughs> yeah, it's fine with me. I don't care. I didn't want them anyways. Let's see if we can pick up another ally. Whew. Tengu. How wild is that, man? They attacked me and then just got stomped. <laughs> we just got... How, what was the percentage of that war score that we just took? Oh, I didn't mean to extend them. Damn it. 83. Feels good. South Lanka, huh? It's unfortunate. Stack wipe was really, really clean. Tears, man. Well, because you remember, we had... I I told you, chat. I told you. I took this. Bonus combat in the train. Same train as capital. So we went in. He had a minus one because of the terrain. And then another... I had a plus one from the terrain. And it might have been a river crossing. I didn't, I didn't look. I didn't look at our maneuver. Depending on our maneuver, it could have been a river crossing as well. 
And then we blockaded the straight so he couldn't come across. So we just wiped him. Yeah, it was easy. We're going to have rebels though. So prepare for that. Lots of rebels coming. Um, get another unit over here. These Kote separatists are going to pop in Kote. Not bad. I'll take him. It's okay. You can be Solgrid. And we owe a stretch to Imaru's. Oh. Can I clean up Sri Lanka? Uh, yeah. He's uh, allied to my ally, so we'll do it when I can. Reduce autonomy. I'm not going to increase autonomy. Hell no. I can fight the rebels. I don't worry about the... I'm not worried about the rebels. Look how much manpower we got. Should do bets for sieges. <laughs> I want to at least make some progress here. If I had to do a, if I did a bet every time I thought the AI was going to cheat on a siege, I'd be going for a long time. Nice. This is really good for us. Um, oof. We need to buy that down. Lose legitimacy. I don't care. Yeah, I was going to say it'd be every time. I'm never going to have admin points again, man. Still have to build that barracks, too. Let's take out the loan to build the barracks. It's actually going to be really good for us, so... Hindu zealots, huh? I need to core this up, man. Where? Over here. So let's get these guys down here. Something like that. Of course they popped in the province that I wasn't near. Oh, we got some more. Very good. Carmen Prestige. Sounds good. Cool. And we got the Hindu Zealots over here. You uh, are not avoiding stronger rebels, I promise. Okay, we can do the same thing here. Ah, should have done it when they were walking in there. Yeah, you're not going to take that. I don't think so. Get out of there. Oh, they're going to pop up here. Oh my gosh, this is dumb. Good thing we had manpower, huh? Let's actually just stand right here. Since we can afford our army, we should drill them. Well, maybe not. Colonial or no, the Protestant Reformation has started. And uh, we'll core that all up as we can. Still need to regular core these other ones on Sri Lanka. Revoke the edict? Oh yeah, good call. That'll save me some money. Ah, that's fine. We'll take it. If we need to reduce some unrest, we can. Take it, and then we'll still be able to do this, which is great. Get a little bit of tax. And the regiment cost saves us some more money. So we're actually making really good money now. We pay as many loans as we can. Still need to core up all this stuff. Man. All right, we're far enough ahead on mill. I'm just going to do this. Let's hire a guy. And then... Let's hire a land maintenance guy. Get a little bit more mana coming in. Rebels and Kote. Oh, Candian Noble Rebels. So they're going to pop in Kote anyway, so sounds good. Being ahead on Diplo is great because it helped you trade. Espionage this game for reduced AE? Probably not. Continue coring everything. 
as we core stuff up, we'll be able to convert it as well, which will be really good. Because we need to convert it all for the other achievement for the Buddha Strike back anyways. Prestige is good. Nation have special in game. Uh, that we are a Buddhist nation on the tip of Sri Lanka. That's the main thing. Okay, let's drill the army. As they're reinforcing, we're going to lose a little bit of money. It's not a big deal. I'd rather have the money to spend. So let's take a look here. Where did my economy go? Truce with these guys will be over in 1500. We're going to have to buy this down pretty significantly, honestly. And then we'll worry about our... Ugh. Man, what is this? Millman is nice. Give us our next one, which is more land maintenance. Except culture? Probably eventually. True. We actually are ahead on Diplo, so we should. We should totally. It's a good call. That'll help us out with our economy a bit more. Gonna need to convert this, so we might as well. We have two. Conquest of the Lankan Temples, huh? Nice. Well, that's really good. This guy's half off, but not worth. Nobody conquers the Tamil Kings. Get it at least below five. Take religious if you're going to convert. Yeah, definitely will in a bit. Right now, I'm not worried about it. We're going to take economics so we can get play taller. Making all kinds of gains. All kinds. My income went down because we are no longer receiving uh, the stuff from them. These guys are out here uh, costing me sailors. Didn't realize that that was a thing. There we go. Cool. So now we only have 20 loans. <laughs> trade is also great. Yeah, we're not going to go trade not right now, at least. Eventually, we will, but not right now. We got a lot of trade centers right there. Pretty solid. Money, please. So we definitely need to be spending our spy network on getting claims on him. Advisors for radical reforms. Yeah, we don't have either of them right now, sadly. But I like your thinking. Take the karma, I don't care. Let this guy get caught back up. You guys like speed five? <laughs> 10 loans to repay those 20? It's true. Uh, it costs us um, inflation though, sadly. I'll just pay them off as we can. No big deal. Not dinner time yet, but you're hungry? Well, what, what are you in the mood for? My favorite event, not limited to one single nation. Um, probably radical reforms. It's free mana, right? Comets. Oh, I do love comets. Merchant loan. Ooh, is that a thing? Can we do that with from the Janes? Is that who it is? Oh, look at this. Minus 15% dev cost. So we're going to use that before we dev up colonialism. That'll be really good for us. Indebted to the Janes. Yeah, that's probably smart, right? Oh, yeah. That's actually totally smart. Holy crap. Good call. It is our ruler who is tolerant. Oh, feels good to make to make money. 
Cool. I said we were going bankrupt. Let's get a value cannon and a cav. Let's make sure we're converting all this stuff as well. Uh, Madurai. Okay, so let's put these guys on missionary strength. That'll be real quick. Which is going to really help us out with unrest as well. I'm actually tempted to lower autonomy over here. What's the monthly... 1.5. 0.15, I mean. So the birth of colonialism. So we'll be able to dev this one up. Nice. Permanent. Maharath... Ka whatever council. Enables... The Marathas, estate privilege, Maratha military leadership, 10% discipline, scaled by land ownership. Uh, it's not worth it. Land leader shock is good, but I'll just go with meritocratic recruitment because I love advisor costs. That's my must have. Do it to lower, do it lower. You got manpower. I know it's more about, do I want to fight rebels? No, you know, when's our choose with these guys up? Cause I would like to attack them immediately. Amanis would not join. Yes, they would. Cool. They would join. So let's get our cav. When is the truce up? March. So Army maintenance needs to go up. I should probably unmothball our fleet. Truce with VJ is over. Totally doable. Um, The issue is, is it's all of these guys over here. How come these guys? Attitude towards enemies. Dude, screw that stupid modifier, man. Fleet? It's two heavies, homie. What, you got two heavies, Alpha Ruins? How many loans do we have left? Not a lot. 11. But it's only 450. Eight, so totally doable. Do we attack him, though? I feel like this is risky. We could get a couple, one more claim at least. I could just mark up again. How many loans can we take? A lot. 60. We could totally mark up and just like beat up on him again. He has like double my manpower. He has 8,000 manpower. He has less than half my manpower. This dude is Hindu. I can't fight this man. Oh, oh, oh. That means nothing. That's just because of all these little guys. Small PP energy. So we are on mill eight. He's on mill eight and he's on mill seven. So maybe once we get mill nine, we'll do it. No rush. We don't need to rush this. Let's continue to mothball the fleet then. I don't have a single fort either, which is definitely not helping us. Do it and go plan bankruptcy. We talked about it before when he attacked me, but uh, turns out we didn't need to. Oh, he's going to attack me right now, isn't he? He's about to attack me. Let's see here. Can't get any more allies. This is sad. He's about to attack me, I think. Look at all those men right there. Oh, no, he's attacking him instead. Okay, well, that's fine as well. I don't care about them. They have no manpower, dude. Ah, it's so tempting. This is so tempting. Ah. Easy clap. Spam monopolies for mercantilism. Ah, eh, I could. I think we're probably okay without it. With rebels fighting each other. Love to see the rebels fighting each other. Let's take... Uh, let's just wait on it. I'm in no rush. Turn army maintenance down. I was thinking he was going to attack me when I saw him on our border. So we need to lower our karma a little bit. Madurai. Level, local dev cost I don't care about. This is fine. 
I think we... Oh. Wasn't watching. No morale. There you go. I don't care if you have no morale. You should still definitely be able to win these little fights with the two stacks. Makes literally no sense. Look at this. I'm going to turn my morale up to like that. And we'll go in and... There you go. Oh, but Manus wanted a royal marriage. Definitely need to make sure we maintain that alliance. The fact that this penis will not join is very annoying. Attitude towards enemies is also an annoying mechanic that literally does not, like, contribute anything. Okay, let's see here. Let's get claims over here. Wait for tech nine? Yeah, that's what I said the whole time. Let's turn this off. I think we can turn this one on trade. I think it'll be worth, probably. Oh yeah, that's worth. We're doing good, we're converting on lands. For some reason I can't convert this one. Because of religious zeal from the rebels, apparently. Look at that, 18. Seizure of a state land, really? Interesting. Clutch game proved itself to be really fun. That war deck was crazy, huh? Let's do some dev. Might as well do some dev in the in the gems province, yeah? And some spice. There we go. That'll do for now. Nice. How often do I stream? Uh, Monday, usually like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. So like four days a week. Consolidate Sri Lanka. Hey, listen, if, if you say that one more time, I will punch you through the monitor, man. Look, 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 look. He's allied to my ally. I can't. Okay. You feel better now? You good? The appropriate thing to say was, can you consolidate Sri Lanka? Consolidate India. <laughs> I think we look much better now to do this. Now, and once we get Miltech 9, we'll be able to steamroll through VJ. Oh, look at these guys getting beat up on in an offensive war. It's actually great because that means this Radapur will probably not join eventually. Maybe not. We'll see. If he won't join, that's actually really good for us. So we'll keep an eye on them. Consolidate Plock. They aren't historical rivals? Oh, they definitely are. They're always historical rivals. Cote into Mandate of Heaven. <laughs> Repay some loans. Extend a couple. We only have eight loans left. That's nuts. Then next month, or next year, we'll be able to take tech. National unrest. 60 ducats is a lot. I'll just take that. Let's turn our army maintenance up. So these rebels don't gank me. The Hindu zealots will be over here. So let's just do them. Next year we'll be able to take this tech. He's on mill 8 now. I'll be on mill 9. He's got no manpower, which is great. And so long as his ally won't join, that's actually, like, best case scenario. Yes. This is totally winnable. And we have a lot of claims as well. We're getting even more of them. Look. We'll be able to definitely take some clay. All right. Um, sure, I guess. These Hindu zealots are going to pop. Uh, if they don't pop. Okay. I'm just going to pop them. Let my men recoup. Take tech, take tech, take tech. Next group is going to be economic. Mm, maybe trade would be good as well. 
and then we'll come back for economic. Let's go economic. It's fine. How far behind are we on admin tech, though? Yeah, we're definitely going to... We're probably going to double up on admin. We're already boosting it. Yeah, this is fine. There you go, LZG. Can you actually tell me how to do that? Can you, like, walk me through it? I need help. Check morale advisor for VJ. Morale advisor? Army quality? We have better morale than him. Oh, he probably has his army turned off. Yeah. We have better discipline. Boosted animals? <laughs> Very league of you to say. I'll take the prestige. Send my state. My statesman has died. Uh, let's take a mill die. But Modest wants clay. I will gladly offer him clay. How come you won't go join right now? I'll just wait for you to pull out of your debt. I'm not going to give you clay if I don't have to. Half off Commandant or mill points. Sounds good. It's fine. There we go. He'll join. This is good. We have tons of claims. Let's go for this, like, province right there. There we go. Navy wise, he's got five heavies and I have two. I'll um I'll pull him out. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but we'll see what we can do here. The fort was turned off. Well this fort was turned off as well. Damn. Get over there with a low low garrison. That'd be good. Oh nice. Mill or Diplo? Our morale of armies, 20% and mill tech costs. Uh, yes, please. Yowzers. It's pretty good. Declare on Kote while in war with Bomanis. Yeah, we will. 20% morale? Uh, no joke. Good timing, huh? We have the best morale and the best discipline in the war. So, as long as he doesn't... Uh, oop. Yeah, we can't do that. The garrison is low here. Maybe... Damn it, man. Get off there. There we go. The low garrison is definitely going to be helpful. This looks much better. Oh, yikes. Those guys are beelining it for me, aren't they? Mm. Maybe they're not? I don't know. Valmanis is going to siege down his, like, OPM allies. It's fine with me. Yes, I can attack Kote. I'm not going to right now because I'm focused on sieging down Vigianagar, but yes. It's all good. Be nice to each other, chat. Of course. Of course. Of course. And of course I can't get out. Why would I be able to? Why would I be able to? Why would it be one day after? Speed five on the forts? Speed five the forts? I wasn't speed fiving anything. Are we being mean? You better not be being mean. Damn, this battle is, uh, this is gonna be really dangerous, actually. Oh, we get the morale buffs, which is good, but. Well, that's unfortunate. Dude, he's really going to come for the stack wipe, isn't he? He is. This motherfucker. All right. 